Richard Norris is a soldier who has deployed to Afghanistan in service of his country multiple times. When he's not deployed, he gives his time to the children of the local military community. Thanks to his generosity with kids like mine, he was recently named our military community's Military Volunteer of the Year. What makes a person generous versus not generous? Uh, yeah, that, that's a hard thing to say. Uh, I could be generous by giving my time because that's what I, I'm able to do. Some people are being able to be generous with money. Uh, I, I think uh, time is, uh, is priceless. So being able to spend time with the kids, to teach them, and be able to encourage them and help them grow, I think that makes a quality for a generous person. And obviously the time that you give to the kids uh, competes with the time that your family may want with you or that your boss may want from you. Do you ever get pressure from the outside not to volunteer or do you feel guilt for spending time here rather than somewhere else? No, uh, actually the, the Army uh, supports me as long as I'm not on deployment. Uh, I was on a deployment earlier this year and was unable to coach basketball. Uh, however, uh, they encourage uh, volunteering. Uh, they take their time to make sure that the people are recognized for the volunteering that they do in the community. By volunteering your time, do you think you serve as, as an example to the kids and do you think that you might influence them in ways other than soccer in the future? I, I hope so. Uh, that, that's the, the hidden goal behind everything. Uh, you know, life is hard, and in, in sports, you sometimes win, you sometimes lose. In life, you sometimes win, sometimes lose. And so I, I want to, the kids to learn that, hey, you know, you can play hard, sometimes you don't win, but what matters is, is doing your best and be able to improve. Rarely does anybody give something and not expect something in return, whether it's having others think more of them, or gratitude, or possibly getting a favor in return, or just feeling better at the end of the day. But there's something that generally people get from uh, being generous. Coach Norris gets closer to this pure form of generosity than many of us. Why do you think he does it? Part of it is unselfish because he's doing something helpful for his community. And he's teaching kids how to play soccer and helping them get better and do things they enjoy. And part of it, I think, is that he likes it. He likes. Uh, coaching soccer and coaching sports. He tries to help out as much as he can with like banquets and activities. And why do you think he why do you think he does that? Because he just likes to help people and force without having any thanks back. And how and how does that how does that affect you? Do you think it makes you also want to be more generous with your time? Yes, because I think he's a good example, and, uh, and I think everyone on the team would want to be like him. Why do you think people are generous? Because they want to help out, and they just want to make people happier. Do you think that they get something out of it, too? <laughs> yes, I think that they get, they are happy, and they'll be more like my coach. For me, uh, I started coaching uh, for my son. Uh, I spent a lot of time on uh, deployments. Uh, I was away from my son for three years and I wanted to spend time, you know, w just with my son and sports was a good outlet. But then what happened was is that I was able to get uh, acquainted with the, the kids, his teammates, and I just enjoy coaching, being able to be with the kids. And so I, I haven't stopped coaching since I've been back. I volunteer with a church, I volunteer with uh, scouts volunteer at the school and, and I volunteer at, at youth coaching. So whatever I can to be with these kids, they're great. Ultimately, Coach Norris is giving more than just soccer instruction. He's passing on lessons about life. As I tell my kids, uh, never quit. Uh, you might think that it, it's hard, you, you might be losing the game by 10 to nothing, or you might be going through life where things seem like they're all stacked up against you. You know, never quit, you know, get a good team around you and you'll be able to accomplish anything.